Hey everyone, this is Adam Meister of VoteMD.info. I'm going to talk about the Baltimore election coming up very, very soon. Today is April the 17th. You know, other people should do videos like this. I'm tired of watching myself uh, talk about these issues. I'm, I'm the only one that goes up, that has the guts to go on video and talk about this. Anyway, it's a beautiful day out there. Passover is coming up soon. One of my favorite holidays. I'm so excited. Anyway, Pew is going to win the election. I don't. Should we even talk about the mayor's race in this thing? I mean, Nick Mosby dropped out. Pew's and he endorsed Pew. She's going to win. Okay, who's going to come in third? I don't know. Embry uh, Dixon obviously will come in second. Don't blame me. I did not vote for Pew or Dixon. Don't don't blame me. But anyway, Pew is going to win. Anyway, I want to talk about the third district. This is very important. Uh, what I've learned from the Baltimore election Facebook group, which is a great Facebook group. And this is one of the rare times they're really getting in depth with a little, a, a third district race, with a city council race. There's a, a guy, Jermaine Jones, who's running. And who knows if he even lives in the third district. He's supported by all these unions. I mean, total, he's probably supported by Curran. I mean, this is, they say he's new. Yeah, new my butt, he's new, whatever. It's like the same old, same old. And this dude, he, he sends out this flyer, okay, with a, a couple and their kid on the, with him, you know, with his arm around him or whatever. They're on his, the cover of his big flyer, his mailer, that he's mailing out to his whole district, okay? And these people that are on the cover with him, on the, on the flyer with him, they, they're, the, the lady, the woman is posting. She didn't give any permission to him to, to use their no written, no written consent at all. I mean, come on. I, when I ran for city council and I had a flyer, I got written consent on my flyer. Because you're sending out this flyer to all these people. It's not your website where people might come to your website. Like 10 people will come to your website and maybe you'll have a picture of someone that didn't give you permission. Then you could, and you could take it down if they complain, okay? 10 people saw it then. You're sorry. This is different. You're, you're sending out a mailer to 5,000 people and you didn't ask the people who are on the flyer with you for their permission. They can sue your butt. I mean, is this guy, does he have any clue? I mean, how much is he gonna cost the city? His irresponsibility, a liar. What, I mean, that he's gonna, that if he's elected, look at him, he's just a total liability. And I'm gonna, and people, it's so funny on the Facebook group, some people still don't understand what is wrong with what he did? For, first of all, it's morally reprehensible. It's a little, it's a little baby too. He doesn't ask. Them. He just puts this picture up there. Whatever didn't get any written consent. But let's imagine that David Warnock had a, a couple and a kid, and he put them on his flyer that he sent out to thousands of people. Okay, and he didn't get written consent. Let me tell you something. Every ambulance chasing lawyer in Baltimore would be contacting that family that was on David Warnick's uh, flyer and they'd be offering to do all the work for free because guess what David Warnick would settle I mean because he would know he was wrong now I'm not saying David Warnick's obviously a smart guy he wouldn't do anything idiotic like this okay but I'm just putting it in perspective so the people who don't understand this yet who can't get it through their heads for some reason I don't understand why they can't get it through their heads but maybe if I put it in like a David Warnick terms, because some, some people just love to hate David Warnick because he's rich, you know, they're jealous and they just hate him. So I just put it in terms that you can understand that, you know, if he did something like this, he would be rightfully sued and the people would be right to complain, okay? So anyway, Ryan Dorsey is also in the third district. I've met the guy, he's a nice guy and everything. He's not like a scum of the earth, like this Jones creature. I mean, what, what is this? I mean, this is a joke. Go play with your union or whatever, Jones. I mean, there's already a union cat, a union person on the uh, that's owned by the union already. Sharon Green Middleton, she's already owned by the union. Do you need two people that are owned by the union? This Jones gets all his help from these union people. All, he's get this money from all the usual sources and everything. Whatever. He's like a, he's basically current. Whatever. Screw him. Okay, now we got another race, the fifth district race. This we got another insider, Betsy Gardner, who didn't didn't enter till the last minute, supported by all the usual suspects. Obviously, a Ricky Specter clone, R R Ricky Specter. I assume this is her pick. I have I, I don't know I don't know that for a fact, but whatever. You hear things. Just moved to the district or something. I mean, what is this? What? 
and she's got all this money all of a sudden. She's got a great chance to win, obviously, if she's getting all this money, all this support. People are like, oh, they're so dumb, they can't think for themselves. Oh, Jack Young says this, or if uh, Sharon Green Middleton tells me, I better do it. Yeah, I'll go for what's her, whatever this woman's damn name is. Let me tell you, Yitzi Schleifer, he's out on the streets, he's campaigning, he's working hard. And there's other guys working hard out there, too. I know Yitzi, I met Yitzi. He's a good guy. He's not scum on the earth, uh, part of the establishment or what I mean this BS the establishment comes in different forms I mean whatever they, they, if you need if you want change vote, don't vote for this Betsy you know vote for this Jones I mean it's ridiculous use your head people come on um, speaking about using your heads there's a guy Patrick Gutierrez he's running for mayor and he actually answered my question and I want to give him uh, credit because he said he would not he does not support Joan Pratt for comptroller. He has the balls to say that unlike the other candidates for mayor. So I'm Adam Meister. I will talk to you later.